Hello everybody, thank you for joining me. This is Game God Fluent, bringing you episode 24 of Let's Play Aleph, the hardcore D&D style CRPG made in RPG Maker, miraculously rhyming accidentally. Alright, we're just about 12 hours into it. According to this, um, our playtime is probably even more, has to be. Let's go ahead and get right into it. We're going to explore this ruin, but there's some enemies. Let's take them all out. Pretty simple stuff. We can just spam attack. Got some lag going on for some reason. Apologize for that. It's running fairly slow right now. There we go, now it's picking up. All right, 28 XP, 52 gold, two hides, a lizard skin, which is always good. Forgot about lizard skins. We can go ahead and pick those up. And uh, they're good because we can augment stuff with them. Is this just a water well? Yeah. All right, we've got plain chair, some enemies. Dead in two shots. <laughs> wow. Face of little bugger. 26 XP, 56 gold. Moldy pear. Moldy pear. Rot potato. Potion of minor mana. Moldy bread. And we've got a nice plain chair made of maple wood. Legs are slightly splintered. We can start decorating freehold at some point too. Aged barrel. Looks like there's nothing really too much here. Just a couple pieces of furniture really. But anyway, we were heading a certain direction. L9, we're after Valor. Um, but I think we're gonna head to freehold from here because it seems like that's where this is taking us. Oh no, we're in F9. Or maybe Airman. Let's go to... See if we can get down to F10. Um, see if we aren't blocked by the river. Alright, F10. and check this out. Hmm. Are we back here again? I know this map. We've been here a million times. I apologize, guys. Going around this mountain and such. Running into battles. Bunch of level fives. But their XP and gold is worth worth it too. <laughs> Low SSD space, sorry about that guys. Wow, these things take a few shots. this and then get rid of that low storage sign all right 99 xp 90 gold moldy cheese web wedge pure blossom ginseng death cap wasp stinger haven't seen wasp stingers um maybe we can uh augment with those pretty nifty 13 XP, 30 gold, ginseng, pure blossom found. <coughs> so what's... One kobold. 
What's the um, end game of going in this direction? I don't remember. 6 XP, 12 gold. I think progress can be made from over here. Death cap. For cutie. Um, I think... Yeah, I think we can make progress this way. Is this the Platinum Mountain? I forget. I don't think so. We can go further south and... Yeah, G10. We haven't been so far as to go down here. Another death cap. As to go down in this direction. Um, or have we? Looks like we're running into another mountain. Yeah, pretty sure I've been down this way. G10, but we're going to keep going down. Shaman and Grunt. Simple enough. 16 XP, 36 gold. Moldy pear, raw potato. Let me get rid of that low storage uh, space sign. Alright. So. Oh, we're running into a mountain to the south. We should be okay. There's a road. So let's follow the road. Okay. Let's save. G11. We rarely go down this far. What does this say? North Airman East East Mark and Arma. I guess we have been here. Jeez. Well, let's go east. I mean, that's another way we can go. We can maybe purchase a boat at East Mark. Okay. Yeah, we haven't really been through here too much. Where this weird music plays and stuff. I don't know if it's the dead wood. I'm not familiar with the area. Death cap. Yeah. Road going through it. I don't think we've been this far down. H11. Well, we might have been just for a second, but I don't think we went further south and such. Yeah, we're really getting into the thick of things. Okay, what do we got here? Wasp. Okay, hopefully we can get another stinger. They're kind of taking a beating. Ooh. 33 XP, 74 gold, moldy cheese wedge, and a wasp stinger. Okay, so let's head down. All the way through this map. Come over this way. Now, this must be new. I-11. Yeah, I don't think we've been this far down. So... Do I want to explore these maps? Absolutely. We'll leave that ginseng. It's hard to see. Um, but, I mean, we'll try to explore them. We can go further down. We can go to the east. This is good. This is good. We're making new progress here. Um... A ruin, which has some new stuff. Broken urn. Well, wow, big ruin, but not much stuff. Broken bowl. Broken dish. Broken beige urn. Aged barrel. Yeah, again, it's kind of hard to see. 
There's a flask. Oh, that was somebody's flask. Why was that somebody's flask? It was red. Broken porcelain pitcher. Just some random stuff. We have to go through JKL, so this is all new. We can explore around. See what we find here. Shaman and two champions. Intent on fighting me. And they're level 10, so a little bit higher. Wow. A little bit more dangerous. Hmm. Alright, 42 XP, 96 gold, moldy pear, moldy mutton, two raw potatoes. Okay. So we can go to the right here. I don't know if I want to... One goblin champion. Hmm. I mean, we can continue exploring this map, but... A very... Confident goblin champion. A little overly confident, we should say. 16 XP, 38 gold, moldy mutton. Now the light's coming on a bit. Yes, yeah, so I don't think this is the dead wood, actually. I'm not sure. Because there's not a lot of dead here. Death cap for cutie. Just exploring. Oh, opening. Hmm. Okay, let's head over to K. Have we even been on K? Which had the skeleton? Okay, maybe it is the dead wood. Let's fight him. Level 15 witch. Oh. I know we're taking unnecessary damage and all, but... Oh! <laughs> Perfectly timed stun. Alright, 40 XP, 104 gold, alchemy flask, two bone fragments, potion of minor health, another bone fragment. Let's head to K. Alright, or J. That was I. J11. We can only imagine the horrors that must be over in this direction. We can go up to J10, but... Explore around on this map first. Light continues to come on. Not a lot of enemies present. All right, let's head over to K. Hmm. 
Not a lot of alchemical ingredients. Three headless. Ah, we ran into water again. Oh no. We're gonna have to cartography to see where we're at. Um, which skeleton zombie? Can we go down further is the question. We can. Is the water still to the east? Yep. J12. Potentially another new map. Okay. Let's use cartography quick. Okay. Alright, so apparently a little further south it would seem there is a bridge. And there's also a rock formation down there, and there's a town up there, which I think is Arma, maybe? Hmm. It is morning. Death cap for cutie. Um... Can head down here to that weird rock formation, I guess. Or no, we want to get to L. We want to get Valor. Whatever Valor is, I don't remember. But it's got to be something pretty strong if it's hidden all the way down here. We're in the thick of the deadwood, I think. There's our bridge. Search around the bridge. I'm in no hurry, guys. Seems we can go down even further. Two headless and a witch. Um, we'll come back to that bridge. Let's head down to J13. What is that? Sure, this sounds like a pretty fun fight. Still again... The witch is the biggest problem here. But it should get us some decent enough XP. Then we'll go ahead and use some skills too. Hit a knife you. And then just attack, double strike, attack, hit a knife, the headless, and attack the headless, just chop them down here. Double death. Some level five skellies. Hmm. Evasive skellies. Cool. Fifty seven XP, hundred fifty gold, three bone fragments, an ale. Four or five bone fragments, a second ale, potion of minor health, and a six bone fragment. I'm not level 17. Sir Cuthbert is 15. Wow. We're up against the water again, but I'm thinking... You know, the further down we go on this water, we'll eventually come to the corner of it, right? And I'm curious to see what is there. Anything. Oh, Gazer. Let's do it. We don't have much MP at the moment, though, but. Alright. Um. Let's go ahead and Wizard Eye. Oh no, let's go ahead and. Yeah, Wizard's Eye, the uh, Gazer. Tag the Gazer. Attack the gazer and snap the gazer. Mute it. <coughs> Wizard Eye will lower its K 
hit an evasion chance. Nice. Pull off here with a strong attack. So Cuthbert can use some health. Alright, let's uh, continue here. Hit a knife it. Um, Sir Cuthbert. Attack it. You go ahead and flash heal Sir Cuthbert. And attack it. And you go ahead and hit and knife it. And attack it. Ouch. Boom, another crit by Haloth there. And still in all, they cannot break my guard. Attack. Double strike. Attack. Attack the gazer. on the gazer. Failed. Weakened it to win, though. Let's use divinity, and... Concussion? Strength of mind. Is our divinity. This is all pretty much a full heal. Death to the gazer. Boom! Sir Cuthbert. All right, 52 XP, 138 gold, Gazer's Eye, two whales, a rot potato. Nice. So this is new territory down this way. It's worth a peek around. What do we got here? Two zombies? Two gazers. Oh dear, wait, I'm not prepared for that. 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 Alright, so we found the corner. There was nothing there. Um, potion of minor mana. Let's eat some food while we're here. Um, drink some cider. And have... Where's all our food? We have a bunch of chicken. Chicken and cider. Now, let's do some augmenting because we have plenty of items to do it with. Wasp Stinger increases damage and has a chance to inflict weak poison. A black stinger about the size of a child's finger from a wasp will use it to inject venom into its enemies. Um, increases damage and causes stun and mute. Alright, um, Gazer's Eye, Bat Fang, Double Strike. Rarely uses Mighty Strikes. I don't think we have Mighty Strikes, um, installed. Equipped. Um, Double Strike, let's raise the damage of it. And let's give it increased damage and stun and mute on Double Strike. Um, what about Lissa's? Does her, uh, Hidden Knife have a Gazer's Eye? Yep. Wild Swing. Um, you can increase damage and cause slow. Let's see if Hlox or Cuthbert has a Gazer's Eye in all of his. Double Strike. Devastating Swing. Ooh, Devastating Swing with a Gazer's Eye. Stun and mute all enemies. That'd be cool. Wasp Stinger we can put in Double Strike. Um, Liss, uh, Wild Swing, Double Strike. Let's go Double Strike with a Wasp Stinger. Now, Lizard Scan increases the amount of HP recovered. Um, do you have one in your arch heal? Yeah, 
Yes. Put one in your heel one. Okay. Nice upgrades. Now we should maybe take a second to uh, level up. Not yet. I like saving level ups for when we have a lot of points to spend. Now let's come this way. We're just exploring at this point. We're not trying to reach Valor anymore. Not yet. We can always return to that. But I want to kind of see what's up this way. Taking time to poke into some of the map as we go. Taking on some fights. Oh, looky here. Aged barrel. Broken elixir. Empty bottle. Broken plate. Cloth cloak. Iron dagger. Broken bowl. Old basket. Copper pot. Broken elixir. Empty bottle. Campfire. <laughs> Pick up the campfire. Ancient bones, really? Don't know what to do with ancient bones. Do we ever find them? Oh yeah, I think we had ancient bones before. Broken dish. Age large nightstand. I mean, potentially we could sell this stuff. Oh! Is this Lethargus? Broken bottle. Is this Lethargus? Broken bowl. Broken alchemical flask. Aged barrel. I think we found Lethargus, guys. Oh my goodness. <laughs> this is freaking awesome. We're going to head into Lethargus. If this is what that is. I think we're in the midst of the dead woods still. Death of the Witch. Level 8 Headless. Just gonna gang up on it. I think there might be a bug in the game where this armor I'm wearing only makes me take one damage. I mean, seriously. I don't think... I don't know. I have to check, see what's going on after this battle. Because my defense shouldn't be that good against everything. 43 XP, 110 gold, bone fragments, ginseng, bone fragments, moldy bread, bone fragments, Lothar's level 15. Wooden targe. Um, okay, so, let's take a look at our status. Um, let's see. Physical damage, 1.88%. What in the world? Um... Nullifier will not take critical physical damage. See if I put on a wooden targe and go back to status. Oh, it's still at 1.84%. That would be a bug, guys. Has to be. Has to be. Oh, no. Wait, let's remove. Remove whispers. Remove those. Are you telling me I'm only going to take one? No, oh, it's back up to 93%. 96%. So there's something I'm wearing here. Potentially whispers. Don't tell me Whispers does it, because it is Whispers. 1.92%. That does not seem right. Disheveled swamp-smelling robes. They protect against mute. Intelligence and resistance increase by 10% each. Uh, that should not... That should not be like that. I don't think so. Now our critical evade is 80% because of null, uh, Nullifier, which is working right. But does Whispers really give... That much... Yeah. It negates... 
entirely physical damage. That seems broken, but I don't have a, a developer to talk to to see if that's working properly. If it's, if that's really... It just doesn't seem like that's right. But it's so good that I want to use it, but... <sighs> but not if it's cheat mode. Because taking it to 1% means he could, he could solo anything in the game, really. Put whispers on you for a second. You have a hardened leather tunic. Yep, still down to 1.84%. Like nothing... You could stand against a dragon and mute it, and you would be in no danger whatsoever. You'd be taking 1% of all the damage. I don't think I can use whispers, guys, in a good conscience. I think we gotta just... roll with what we're using here. I'm going to put the cloth robe on, and gonna, I'm going to see if I can make... That stinks because Whispers is so good, but I can't be cheating if I know it's cheating. Enchanted cloth robe needs a potion of major mana. We don't have those. We have nothing here, okay. Dang. Oh, there's some kind of weapon here. Or pickaxe. Wooden club. Yeah, because if I'm thinking about that right... Say we face a pit fiend, and say it's not magic casting, it would just be doing 2% damage. I mean, Matthew could solo a pit fiend with that. That definitely seems like a bug. So... I can't in good conscience use it. 20 XP, 54 gold, free bone fragments, potion of minor health, empty bottle, broken dish, aged barrel, wow, undead everywhere, bones, ancient bones, broken dish, Ancient bones, barrel, old basket, cloth wizard's hat, wooden staff, sellable stuff. We could sell all this furniture too, age dresser, if we really wanted to. I mean, ancient bones, regular bones. Yeah, this has to be lethargic. Broken plate. Empty bottle. Empty bottle. Unless it's an unknown dungeon that's just somewhere. Um, shall we go in or should we peek around a little bit more? Zombie and witch. I'm just thinking about that whispers cause like okay you're still susceptible to magic damage but some enemies are just really strong brutes that are designed to uh oh reflect didn't do much but could potentially but some enemies are just giant brutes that we're gonna fight that are meant to you know, be a challenge to you because they have high strength and high physical damage. <coughs> that, uh, that robe would negate that completely. 40 XP, 102 gold, bone fragments, broken bottle, bone fragments, moldy bread. Um, I'm not gonna fight every enemy in the area, I'm just gonna... What is that? Broken elixir.
I'm just gonna head in and uh, maybe do some dungeon delving. Uh, let's. Yep, we're there. This is Lethargis. Oh my gosh, I can't believe it. This is awesome. Oh no, I want to untag. Um, yeah, let's go in. Oh wow. Oh, we need a, a light spell. <clears throat> and we have egress to get out of the dungeon. Let's turn light on. Nice. Oh, this is going to be wicked. Ancient Bones. Our first dungeon. Westmark Banner. A shredded and torn banner for the House of Westmark. The Black Bear Sigil is torn and greatly aged. <clears throat> I'm going to walk through this bad boy. Okay, nothing there. I'm going to suck this all up. We've got Headless and Zombies. Level 8, so nothing too terrible. Or grotesque yet, but apparently there's rumor of a pit fiend down here somewhere in the lower levels. Oh, this is awesome. I am so happy we randomly found this. We still have a lot of exploring to do in that area. Um, outdoors, I mean. In this area. Where Lethargis is located, but... You know, we're in for a treat here. Our first taste of an actual dungeon. We haven't been in a dungeon yet. We've been in towns and cities. <laughs> We've been in a swamp and apparently the dead wood. We've been in all sorts of places. 33 XP, 86 gold. Bone fragments, moldy bread, bone fragments, broken bottle, bone fragments. Um, I'm choosing not to level up yet. Ooh, holy water. <coughs> Old basket. Hmm. What is that? Old wooden cross. Can we come through here? Yes. So pretty basic enemies up here so far. But of course it's going to get probably pretty deadly as we go on. I mean, it's only right we do Lethargis because we're at a point where... <clears throat> We've explored a good chunk of the lower part of the island or whatever, the pin of the area, the game world. So might as well do a dungeon, our first one. 30 XP, 74 gold, two bone fragments, list levels up. We've got a potion of minor health. Broken encrusted urn, that's different. Um giant bat. I haven't seen a giant bat yet. Have we? Oh yeah, we have bat wings. So I guess we must have at some point. Bye bye, giant bat. Okay, Liss can use a heal after combat. Hmm. Alright, 30 XP, 78 gold, bat fang, two bone fragments, ale, bone fragments, moldy bread, bone fragments, bone fragments, ale. <laughs> Alright, ancient bones. Old basket. Tomb. Hmm. I would say open it just because... It has the potential to be like a vampire's tomb that we can kill. Kill the evil. Um, let's go ahead and give her a heal one. And let's see what heal one looks like with the upgrade. Mm -mm. Not particularly strong, but that's okay. Um, I gotta save because I don't know what a tomb is going to do if I open it. Oh my gosh. 51 gold, a wooden cross, bone fragments, wood ash, which is nice, two ale, three ginseng, five bandages, old wooden cross, and bones. 
Nifty. We can open tombs in here. This game is just crazy. Ritual Basin. An ornate decorative basin used to fill with ritualistic list, uh, liquids. Old basket. We'll come down this way. Hear some nasty sounds. Here we've got a broken fancy urn. Nothing else. Our first treasure chest, it looks like. Guarded by a pretty large group. Um, let's go ahead and use techniques so we're not just... Mindlessly killing. Well, it is kind of mindless, but... Alright, the headless is down. Giant rat survives a Sir Cuthbert attack. Um, yeah, now we can just spam attack. <coughs> I wonder if we'll need a skeleton key to open the chest, or if it's just going to be freely open. I don't think we found a chest yet. Oh, we found chests, but not that we could open. 43 XP, 100 gold, bat fang, bone fragments, bone fragments, moldy bread, moldy cheese wedge. Holy water. Old basket. Chests. 50 gold, leather straps, 3 potions of minor health, scroll of create food. Leather tunic, iron chainmail boots, iron chainmail tunic, scroll of cure, scroll of wizard's eye, three logs, and two hides. Not bad. Pretty nifty. Now we can run back out this way. And, uh. It's nighttime outside for whatever that matters. Hmm. Let's get. Light cast again. Huh. Old wooden cross. Eye gouger! A very sharp pointed sword capable of occasionally blinding an enemy. Nice! Another legendary. Okay, we can't take that. Too big, I guess. Um, freaking eye gouger. <laughs> Oh, that's awesome. Statues. Broken encrusted urn. Okay. Let's uh, check out Eye Gouger. I don't think it's going to be better than what we're using. Very sharp. Oh, yeah. Good luck and good agility. Lowers intelligence. Well, for me, let's see if... Maybe... Sir Cuthbert... Lose 150 HP, no. I think I am going to give it to Liss. Let's see. She gains 9 agility. Loses only 3 strength. Loses 3 defense. 3 resistance. And about 30 HP. But it can bind, blind an enemy. This has a small chance to stun enemies. Rarely happens, though. It's a small chance. This occasionally blinds enemies. So we'll go with... Oh, we can go with the Sword of Fortune, too. No, this race is agility, which I want. Let's get Eye Gouger. Then she can use, like... Oh, this is going to lower agility a little bit. The Wooden Targe wouldn't. One of these might be good. Um, let's go with the Iron Kite Shield. She gains about 25 HP, 5 defense, and only loses 2 agility. So that's good. Awesome. Pulling some treasures out, and a weapon we could use. Did not expect a weapon we could use. Oh, is, did this respawn already? Wait a minute. No, this is new territory. I thought we... 
came this way. Hmm? What in the world? Did I make a wrong turn at Albuquerque? Little Bugs Bunny reference there for you. Huh. At least Eye Gouger doesn't crash the game either. 26 XP, 60 gold, bone fragments, minor health, moldy cheese. Yeah, because there's a... Okay, there's an open tomb. Oh, we did come this way. But I just never went in here and opened this tomb. Hmm. 51 gold, wooden cross, 3 bone fragments, 3 wood ash, 4 death cap, 2 bandage, old wooden cross, and bones. Huh, how did I miss that the first time through? That's weird. Did I come this way? No. Old basket. Paths among paths. Enemy group, another chest. Take care of this group. Ah, oh, look at this blinding already. That's gonna come in very nice against a lot of enemies. 14 XP, 34 gold, bone fragments, bone fragments. The chest, oh, they are respawning though, right before our eyes. 20 gold, 3 hide, a lamp oil, 3 minor health potions, scroll of wizard's eye, iron dagger, iron chainmail boots, scroll of drain, 2 potions of minor mana, 2 torches, 1 leather strips, and 2 empty bottles. And a partridge and a broken encrusted urn. So we can pretty much cruise through this first section of the, of the dungeon. We're going to be here a while, so strap in, guys, and enjoy. I think it's faster, ultimately, to just do what I'm doing and not using abilities. Well, maybe not, but... I mean, we're taking a lot of unnecessary punishment, too. So, let's double strike. Let's double strike. Let's attack, and let's wild swing. Double death. Wow. Double death. 43 XP, 106 gold, bone fragments, moldy bread, two more bone fragments, ale, bone fragments, bat fang. Everybody loves a bat fang. Nothing to do with that, okay. Huh, so we came back this way, and now we go up and out, okay. So that was that corridor. Now we come over to this corridor. And this looks like the progress corridor. Go over this way. Dang, it's hacking lists. Yeah, that thing had a small chance of stunning, which, as we saw, was very small because it rarely stunned. This thing occasionally blinds, which means it's a higher chance overall. 33 XP, 84 gold, bone fragments, bone fragments, broken bottle, moldy bread, moldy bread, bone fragments, bone fragments. My gosh, the bone fragments we're pulling out of here are incredible. that heal too too much we gotta upgrade that let's come up this way old basket starting to recognize these items crusted urn holy water and an old basket and nothing this way 
I don't know if there's secret doors. That is yet to be seen. I don't see any buttons or anything. Let's come down this way. Let's look at our spell scrolls. Huh. Life 2. Ninth circle. Huh. Scroll of exorcism. Cure. Create food. Wizard's eye. That's Liss. Wizard's Eye, we can give to Liss and Cuthbert. And let's see how they can function with that. Let's see if it's worth equipping. And then we'll go ahead and maybe use it occasionally. I think we can get rid of anti-magic shield because it only works for her. And let's cast light. Ancient bones. Ooh, new stuff. Hmm. New enemies down there too. Headless. Hit a knife the headless. Attack the headless. Attack the headless. Attack the headless. And hit a knife the headless. She also can inflict slow with hit a knife. Boom. She's got nice agility now with that eye gouger versus the uh, Aver's Barong. Okay, um, attack, technique, attack, attack, attack. Yeah, I'm gonna have to keep track of all these bugs so I can report them. If I ever get in touch with the developer so far, they, it's been a day or two and they haven't responded yet to my inquiry. 49 XP, 118 gold, bone fragments, moldy bread, two bone fragments, bone fragments, and ale. Music gear. We have to check out the music gear sometime. Oh, it's not showing me what that is. It is a medium gold urn. Ancient bones. Hey, we can change the music at will. Old basket. Black candlestick, a dark candlestick with a smooth surface. Um, what is that? Old wooden cross. We don't really need to go over there too much. I will come over here though and grab the uh, whatever that was. really grinding the XP in this place which is nice 22 XP 50 gold bat fang and bone fragments and I'm now level 18 potion of minor health three headless so this has potential to kind of hurt us a little bit let's go ahead and throw a fireball on them and attack them. Bust out the spell books. Mm. Arma disease. Hmm. Not familiar with that. Let's attack the headless. Let's Relentless Assault. Lothir. Attack the headless and you hit a knife. 
Uh, muted it. For no real reason. Boom. Boom. Death. Death. Nice. Could probably just do this. And we took 89 unnecessary damage, but... 59 XP, 142 gold, moldy cheese wedge, bone fragments, minor health potion, bone fragments, minor health potion, bone fragments. Um, might as well grab this basket. Oh, it's respawning right, th right there. The respawn rate is a little high. Let's get out of this room. Headless and a zombie. So really the idea is to keep moving. I'm probably spending too much time walking. The idea is to keep it moving in here. And he still has Aver Ayer's disease or whatever. Arma disease. Hmm. Oh, and I forgot to pick up purity potions or whatever. Maybe I can make them. 30 XP, 80 gold, bone fragments, bone fragments, bone fragments, ale, bone fragments, moldy bread. Alright, let's get away from that door. Broken bowl. I don't like to be rushed though. Broken alchemy flask. Broken dish. Uh, tomb. 25 gold, wooden cross, 3 bone fragments, 3 bandages, pure blossom, 3 wood ash, 2 sapphires, old wooden cross, and bones. Um, what I want to do is see about... Tonic of Purity, okay. Whew! It's Potion of Minor Health up here. Save... Our time is probably up. What is that? Broken plate. Broken bowl. Two times zombies. Old basket. These things take like quite a few hits to take down. Two rounds for sure, unless we land some crits. Nice. 20 XP, 52 gold, bone fragments, broken bottle, bone fragments, moldy bread, Sir Cuthbert levels up. Another tomb. I don't know if we're in trouble with looting these tombs, actually. Bones, two bone fragments, four leaf of heather, two death cap, a bandage, an old wooden cross, and 22 gold. Okay. And an old basket. Let's continue. Come down this way. Fight the rat and company. Hit and knife the zombie. And attack, 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 attack. Alright, so I'm going to have to save, unfortunately, and continue this next time. I really want to just keep playing. Nice. Man, these rats are hardy. Thirty-eight XP, ninety-four gold, moldy cheese wedge, three bone fragments, four bone fragments, five ale found. Let's just see what's down this way before we wrap it up. Some statues. Okay, one more battle. Hidden knife, the headless. 
Attack the headless. Attack the headless. We're gonna have to get him something for enlist because use him using enlist is very rare since Liss will use it, and it's very rare we have to summon a second mercenary. And if we do, we can always use Liss in the second round to summon it rather than Sir Cuthbert. I'm thinking maybe a nice defensive skill or something would be good for Sir Cuthbert if we continue to build his defense or his strength. 33 XP, 80 gold, bone fragments, potion of minor health, two more bone fragments, moldy cheese wedge, and a bat fang. And statues that we can't do anything with, and another enemy group. Just like that. Alright, well, <clears throat> hopefully make it quick. And in the meantime, I'll say thank you guys for joining me. Hope you enjoyed this much of Lethargus thus far. It's been a blast for me. I can't believe we're actually here and exploring it. It's a dream come true, man. Seriously, it's really cool. Uh, we'll go ahead and maybe level up next time so we can dispatch of these enemies even quicker. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching and spending your time with me. Appreciate you guys. Uh, I truly do. Another bat fang and bone fragments. Um, old basket. A tomb. And I, what's in the middle here? Anything? No. Some statues. Old basket. A chest. So we'll open this next time. Leave a bit of a cliffhanger. Holy water. So much love, peace, and joy, guys. Well, let me see how long I've been playing, just to make sure. I think it's time, though. Yeah, now we're in a minute. <laughs> Sorry for the long episode. See you guys next time. Peace.